You might recognize these products in front of me from a previous video where I've covered some of these individually. But today we're back with another video to cover them overall and to tell you which are the best scenarios to use this in, in your business or commercial setup. We will cover four different access points, which is both indoor and outdoor, and Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E. We also have a 24 port switch that we can use to power all these devices. And towards the end of the video, we're gonna cover a firmware update from HPE Networking Instant On, which is 3.1. The first question you might ask as a business owner, well, is why HPE Networking Instant On? Well, the advantages are for your small to medium businesses is its affordability, it can be scalable, and you get enterprise grade performance. You also get the ease of setup and cloud-based management through the Instant On app or your local web browser. So let's start by looking at each of these and seeing what the best scenario is for each of them. Let's start with the AP21. And this tiny little device can connect up to 50 devices at once. This is ideal for a smaller deployment like a retail store or a pop-up shop or any of those startups that just need a couple of APs that you can set and forget. This has Wi-Fi 6 built into it and again can be controlled by the HP Instant On app or through the web browser too. And finally, this device is capable of hosting up to 1.5 gigabits per second with the dual antennas built inside it. Inside the box, you get yourself the AP itself, a network cable, the mount, and you get yourself some instruction guides on how to get this mounted and set up. But to simply get this mounted is a click system on the back where once you've placed this device right here, it clips in and away you go. It's really that simple. The next device is the AP32. And as you can see, this is ever so slightly bigger than the AP21, but packs a lot more power. So inside here, we have Wi-Fi 6E, so not just Wi-Fi 6. So we have the six gigahertz spectrum, which you can connect up to 75 devices at once. We have a tri-band dual radios. You can choose two of the three spectrums, so 2.4 gigahertz, five gigahertz, and six gigahertz. So if you have something that requires higher bandwidth throughput, like flagship phones or laptops, VR gaming headsets or even an e-gaming center if you set something like that up this would be something for that sort of deployment this is designed to be used in those dense environments where you have quite a number of devices connecting to a single access point on the back we have a 2.5 gigabit uplink as opposed to the normal one gig that you generally get on most access points you can use a 12 volt adapter if you don't have a poe injector and only have a 2.5 gigabit switch also in the box you get the same sort of clamp so regardless of whichever access point you buy you get that same clamp inside so it's easy to set up. A network cable inside and again a startup guide specifically for that access point. So we move away from the ceiling mount or wall mounted APs and we have something a little bit different. This is the AP22D and it is a Wi-Fi 6 access point but it's a little bit different. One, it comes with a desk mount, so you can go ahead and pop this on your desk if you want, or you can mount it to the wall on the side to keep it a nice neat finish, but there's something else at the bottom of it. So we have four different gigabit ports on the bottom. Two supply network and data, and the other two can also supply PoE power for up to 15 watts per device. This is perfect for anything like IP phones or receipt printers or anything that requires PoE that you can power through this device. This would be great in a hotel entrance lobby or even a reception area where you need this for your guests to be able to access. Speaking of guests, you can also set up a guest hotspot on these access points and we'll cover that a little bit later. The uplink port is right here, which is 2.5 gigabits. So you can make sure that you definitely have enough bandwidth to cover all the devices that could be connected to this. And I've shown you the couple already, but you get the desk mount and the wall mount. Again, your ethernet cable and your startup guide for your device right here. The final access point we're gonna look at is this AP27. Now this definitely looks a lot different to the other ones, and that's because this is IP67 rated and can be used outdoor. It can connect up to 75 devices and it has some smart mesh Wi-Fi built into it, which means you can go ahead and get this powered up outside without running any cables to it and mesh it to your existing network. You can run up to eight meshes per AP in the network site. In terms of the specs within, it does Wi-Fi 6, and if you want to connect it, there is a gigabit ethernet port on the bottom, which means you can get it connected to your network if you have the network cable. Also inside the box, you get the wall mount for outside, you get the screws. Also you get this, which allows a waterproof seal for your ethernet cable. Now that we've covered the APs, well, you're gonna need somewhere to connect it all. And that's where we have this product right here. So this is the HPE Networking Internet On 1930. And there's a couple of different variants that you can buy from it. There's a 195 watt option and a 370 watt option, 
which gives you the PoE power to all your devices that you have on your network. If we look at the ports on the front, we're greeted with four SFP Plus ports right here, and these are 10 gig ports. So if you're not using this as a backbone switch and you wanna connect it to something else, you can go ahead and use the 10 gig connectivity. And then we have 24 ports along the front here, which are all gigabit ethernet. Now you will see this is still branded with Aruba Instant On, but this is part of their new HPE Networking Instant On lineup. Along with your basic configuration, there are some more advanced features on here as well, so it can support VLANs, it does do QoS, and I already mentioned it has PoE. What we'll go ahead and do now is get this all connected, we'll get some APs connected, and let's take a look at the new 3.1 firmware. We have a power lead which we can pop in the back just here, so that goes in, and if I flip this upwards, you'll see some lights that have just popped on. So you can see all the orange lights that are just there. Once we've done this, we can go now and get our APs connected. So we'll go and plug this one and you'll probably see some lights popping up on here. The switch itself is still booting up. So we don't have the lights on here just yet, but we'll give that a few moments. And we can do the same with this one too as well. So we'll pop this one in here. We'll give it a few minutes and hopefully have some lights on here. On the screen right now, you'll see the page for Networking Instant On 3.1 release, and there are a number of different features in here that have been upgraded or improved, and I'll pop a link to this down in the description below if you wanna take a look at it. But I'll pick a few of those in just a moment and go through some of those and see what they are. We have the first look at the portal just here, and you can go ahead and sign in. And the first thing you would do, you can see it's branded with all the green Instant On, and the actual site name has changed as well, so it's portal.instant-on.hpe. Dot com. So we can go and create our first site and I'm just gonna do this quickly just for the sake of uh, the completeness of this video and to show you how easy this is to set up. So IW video, type in your first serial number and right there you can see it's found the switch model and the access points as well. So we can go and create a site with all of those products. And again, the nice new color scheme on here. It looks a little bit similar to some of the other ones that we had previously, but first let's take a look at some of the features that have been improved. Going back to this page where we'll go over some of the new features on here, we have the Instant On app, so it's no longer called Aruba. The application, it's called Instant On, and you can download that from the App Store, the Google Play Store, whichever phone you're using. As I mentioned, there's a few additional new features which we'll go through. The first one is the update scheduler, so it now allows you to set an installation delay, selecting a specific time and day. You now have an increased number of devices that you can add per site. So we've gone from 50 to 125. So another useful feature for larger scale deployments. And also for a larger network team management, you now have unlimited administrators and up to 25 admins can be assigned to manage any site. The event logs and alerts have got some improvements. So we now have significant event logs and more alerts that have been added for better monitoring and troubleshooting. So those are now also in the app. So you can find it a little bit more easier and trying to diagnose any issues that you have. And again, I'll leave a link for this down in the description below if you wanna take a further look. So if you're looking for something that's easy and simple to set up, well, HPE Networking Instant On might be your answer. With the improved look and these new products that you can deploy quite easily and simply, there's no reason why you can't go down this route. And if you wanna know more about them, the links to each of those products are in the description below as well. So if you want the easy and simple Wi-Fi setup in your business, this could be a viable option for you. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below what you think of these products. Do you have any of these set up? Have you deployed any of these out? For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.